Welcome to Tailgate Talks. I'm Tyson Martmoss. I'm Joel Ampenson with Soil View. And this week we're going to be talking about soil sampling. Joel, why do we soil sample? Well, the best reason is, you know, we can't um, guess on fertility out there. So if you can't manage what you can't see, um, sort of like you don't test it to guess. And um, with VR application anymore, it's a good thing to see what's out there. And guessing on what's out there kind of goes hand in hand with uh, the four R's, right? Yeah, exactly. Soil sampling, you know, um, intensive soil sampling coincides with that, you know, the right source, the right rate, the right place, the right time. And we sort of look at the soil sample as, you know, the fifth R is the right sample. Breaking news, the fifth R. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because my understanding in soil sampling, whether it's pulling the samples or in testing, consistency is everything. Doing everything the same to get the best results. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, we preach quality that we want to pull a good quality soil sample so you guys can make recommendations for your growers and, um, you know, getting the right depth of core, um, you know, research through different universities such as Iowa State, um, you know, they found where 10 to 15 cores really gives you a good idea of um, what your fertility is at um, in that field. So um, that's kind of what we shoot for is depth and number of cores. So with soil sampling, there's all different times. Is there a better time or a best time to pull your soil samples? Yeah, you know, with some of these inconsistent falls that we've been seeing, um, dry conditions, um, some of your nutrients can get tied up you know, K and pH levels and um, without, especially having your pH levels in check, um, you know, it's hard for that plant to take up nutrients. So um, we've seen a lot of transition into the early in-crop summer sampling, um, more consistent soils and, you know, we're not fighting tillage and manure and, and even for the growers operational efficiency, it, it goes a long ways, you know, look at last, last fall, the harvest happened in 10 days and everybody was ready to go. Well, it takes time to get the sample, get the lab analysis, make a rec, and especially with supply and demand issues, um, you know, your agronomist can have these these recs made in the spring, summer, and follow that combine with the fertilizer. And the good thing about summer soil sample, it's taking a lot of pressure off the fall. It's, it's giving you all that time to kind of devise a plan for what you're going to do with your fall fertility. And there are some benefits. Uh, we do offer 0% interest. so get your soil samples pulled and you don't have to pay for them until the end of the year. I guess if you have any questions about soil sampling or when it's the best time to get your field sampled, uh, reach out to your local FCS agronomist. Joel, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you guys for joining us. Have a good one. Thanks. Hi, welcome to <laughs> Failgate Talks. Fail getting the right sample and getting a consistent quality sample. Fifth R, that's exciting news. Yeah, groundbreaking. I guess, <laughs> yes, we're, we're breaking it right here on Tailgate Talks. <laughs> Alert, fifth R <hour> coming. <laughs>